Hey everyone, in this video I want to talk about how you can take advantage of the really great reports in Pipedrive and more importantly how you can actually increase the quality of the data in those reports. The reporting in Pipedrive I think is one of the killer features of this product. Um, just by simply using the product correctly, and that's the key word, you will get some really great insight into what it takes from your, you know, within your sales journey to convert leads, why you aren't converting them, how long it takes to convert leads into business, and just learning a lot more about your sales journey and sales process. Now, if you have any questions at the end of this video, feel free to leave me a comment below. Otherwise, if you do want to get some one-on-one -on -one support with your pipe drive setup and team training or integration with other tools, feel free to reach out to me and book a complimentary introductory call via my website. So let's get into this. First thing I want to talk about is uh, activities. Now one of the biggest mistakes that people make when using or when getting started with Pipedrive is not using activities correctly. Long story short, the best practices you want to follow are firstly always have an activity scheduled on every single one of your deals so that you've got some kind of reminder about what needs to happen to move that deal forward. Secondly, log all of the activities of all the things you do related to deals. So for example, on my dashboard, here are some common types of activities that I've got down here. Email follow-up, uh, introductory calls, like the one I've just mentioned, booking an intro call, um, kind of extra calls, I, I personally like to separate these out, voicemails that I've left, proposals sent out, and maybe even email campaigns that I've sent. So here are some common types of activities, and through me logging those activities on deals, that feeds through into the reports here. So I can see, for me anyway, and you could break this down and you could drill down by person in your team, you can see what types of activities are people doing, what types of things um, are contributing towards getting the sale. And you can customize these activities for your business. So let's say you do a lot of in-person meetings, you could actually set that up as an activity type. And the way, way you would do that is if you come to settings here, and in your company settings, uh, da, 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 we can actually create brand new types of activities, which these, this is what feeds through into those reports. So for example, we could add an activity type, we could call this meeting, and we could give a little uh, icon like what should we choose? Where's the little people or something? This one here. So we could say this is a meeting. And when I was working in mortgages and when I first got introduced to Pipedrive, one of the KPIs that we got measured on was how many um, application reviews were we doing for people that were submitting um, applications to, to work with us. And we had to review those. And so that was a key KPI is how many application reviews do we do on a, on a monthly basis? So using activities like this is a great way to learn about what types of actions contribute towards sales. And it becomes particularly important on this dashboard page when you want to hold your sales team accountable to key activities, whether it's sending out proposals or meeting with clients. So that's the first key thing, is taking advantage of the activities. Second thing I want to talk about is lost reasons. Now, if we dive into our reports, one of the great reports is the deals lost. And so we can see um, where, why are deals being lost, what stages are they being lost from. So this is a great way to see what um, kind of the holes in our pipeline. But this one's really good um, by reason. So you can specify reasons why a deal might not go through. So a common one for me is just people lose touch. Uh, people don't respond. It's very frustrating. <laughs> and uh, I follow up, but you know I do a number of follow ups and people don't respond. And so I just sort of think, right, well, obviously you know they're not interested, so client doesn't respond. Sometimes I reject the client. You know it's just not a good fit, and uh, I might reject them. That's my choice. Maybe the client goes with another option. Maybe they're just not interested right now. Um, maybe there was a scheduling issue or decided the software wasn't right. So these are some predetermined reasons. Now, one of the common issues or common mistakes people make with Pipedrive, if I come back to my company settings, is people will have this option, allow freeform lost reasons, um, they will have this turned on. Now what this means is when you mark a deal as lost, so let's find, uh, let's go find a deal. When your market is lost, what this option will allow you to do is freeform type in a reason um, about why the deal didn't go through, which might sound good on the surface, but what that actually means is it's going to create lots of new, row, uh, new rows in this report that show you lots of different reasons why the deal didn't go through. 
And it's much better to have a predefined list that kind of encapsulates the most common reasons and pick from that list. So let's say we, we have a deal here and I mark it as lost. Now I can select from this list. And this is a predetermined list. I can't add anything to this with that option turned to off. And I can even add a comment. So I can still customize this. I can I can say, you know, leave some reasons around why they didn't go through, um, why the deal didn't go through. But I highly recommend turning this off so that you do not allow free form entry of uh, lost reasons. Main reason being it will make this report a lot more accurate. You'll learn a lot more about the common reasons why deals don't go through. So highly recommend you turn that off. Now, uh, I wanna talk about products as well. So a really great report is the report, uh, where am I going? Is the report which shows you your deals won. And normally uh, you just see something a bit like this, where you see the volume of deals won over time, you know, count or by value. So you can just see kind of a line like this and that's nice. But actually I have different types of consulting that I offer. And so I wanna see what types of consulting or what service am I, as services am I selling more or less of. And so I can break it down into products that are being sold over time. Now this feature, oh, actually let's leave that there. This feature is enabled from, um, the settings, we want to go to features here. So you actually do have to turn this on when you first get started to, with Pipedrive, it won't be turned on. So you want to come to features in your settings and turn on products. That means you then get this new products tab over here and you can set up the products that you sell. And products is a term used for, I think, services as well. I'm not actually selling a Nasana consulting product. Um, I'm selling a service. So you can set up all these products in your account. You can even set a default price. And then when you are assigning the value to your deal, you now get this add products option. And so I can say this person's interested in Asana consulting and he's gonna, it's, you know, it's gonna be, I don't know, a thousand dollars. And then when that deal is marked as one, it feeds through into this report so we can see what types of products are people um, purchasing over time. So it's just a great way of extending the quality of this report, getting a bit more information about our sales process. Uh, so yeah, if you do run a product or service type business, highly recommend you take advantage of the products. And finally, um, actually use the won and lost buttons. A lot of people will have, so if you look at my stages, I have proposal sent and then the final one is waiting for payment. A lot of people actually have <clears throat> stages at the end, which is like deal won or deal lost. That's actually not the correct, and, and they would move the deal into that stage. That's actually not the correct way to, um, to manage the deal when it actually is one in other words when you recognize revenue related to the deal you just need to click one or lost uh sorry you need to click one obviously if the deal doesn't go through you can click lost and uh so that's a way that it's only through through marking the deal as one that the data will feed through into this report deals one if you simply move it into a stage yes it looks like you know you've collected all your one deals in one place but this report will not update so that's a common mistake as well as people don't use the one and lost buttons and and just remember as well that even though you mark it as one or lost let's say i mark that as one i can reopen this so if i make a mistake i can reopen the deal if i ever need to and finally, a final point on this is you might have a lost stage um, or you might have a holding stage actually where you want to kind of put deals that are sort of on hold. One great way to kind of clean up your pipeline is to actually mark the deal as lost. You could say, you know, client's not interested right now, mark it as lost, and then schedule yourself an activity to follow up in the future. You can touch base with them. Maybe now it's a better time. You can then reopen the deal if you need to. So there you are. Those are a few simple ways that you can improve the quality of your reports. Like I said, the um, data that we get in here is really powerful, really great way to learn about what are you doing right and wrong in your sales process, but it does rely on you using Pipedrive correctly. So I highly recommend you just follow those few simple tips to take advantage of activities, uh, disable freeform lost reasons, take advantage of products, and obviously marking deals as won or lost at the right time. Thanks again for watching this video, and as I said, let me know if you have any questions or comments uh, below this video.